What's going on YouTube? Steven Salon guy here and today I'm doing a step-by-step -step tutorial of short feathered layers. So let's get this mannequin prepped and let's get started. All right, so we're just about ready to start and this hair was a little bit knotty so I sprayed my 25 spray in. So for all of you wonderful consumers out there, 25 spray is an amazing spray for getting rid of tangles and knots. It's great for, you know, kids who have hair down to their waist and it gets super knotty and it's a great cutting lotion. Also, if you're a professional, you spray it on and the hair stays really conditioned and uh, nice and moist throughout the entire haircut. And that's why I love working with 25 spray kind of right from the start. So you can you know, follow along through this whole tutorial. This is gonna be a very step-by-step -step kind of in-depth tutorial. And <clears throat> what I really wanna do is just break this down. And this haircut is, I, w I wouldn't say it's you know, super complicated, but it's also not very easy. And if you understand just some simple concepts, then I think we'll be in good shape. Now, if you're a, you know, again, a cosmetology student or a stylist watching this, hopefully you'll understand the concepts. But if you're a consumer watching this or a client, there's a strong chance that you may want this haircut. <laughs> and, you know, don't be afraid to, I guess, maybe bring this in, show some photos, maybe take some notes as well. And I, I know for a fact I have a few clients myself that would probably want this haircut as well. <laughs> so let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is establish the base, okay? The base really is the core length. And that's really how long, you know, we're gonna keep the haircut. But the base also travels around to the, through here. I consider this the base, all right? Very, very, very important. Without a solid foundation, just like a house, you cannot really have a good haircut. So how important is, is the structure? I wanna be able to make sure, and I learned this a long time ago, that the client could leave just if you cut the base of the haircut, that's it. You know, so if, they, if something happened and they had to walk out, the, the foundation of the haircut would be so strong that it would still look like a phenomenal haircut, okay? So what I like to do is I like to really get that out of the way first. So I'm going to probably cut this to about right here and we're kind of entering into, you know, kind of layered bob territory, to be honest with you, or, you know, lob, so to speak, a longer bob. But really, this could be done on any length hair, but keep in mind, the shorter you go with the layers, which we are going relatively short, it has to be well balanced, all right? You know, you don't want this to end up looking like a mullet or anything, because if the layers are really, really, really short, and the hair is really long on the bottom, you know, could it work? Yes, certain aspects of this haircut, it could work, but at the same time, you know, it may be very, very, it, might, it may not blend, all right? So you wanna make sure you're keeping everything kind of well balanced that you know, if you cut the layers to a certain point, you're gonna be okay. All right, so we've done the back, as you can see, and I just really held it flat, flat down and no elevation, and now we're gonna work into the sides and then going into the most important part, which is the front right through here. So depending on the client, depending on this, their current situation of their hair, really depends on this area in through here. So remember, we're gonna be creating short feathered layers, which to me means we're gonna be probably going right in this area right here. So what we have to do is you have to visualize now, if you cut an angle like this all the way into here, all right, you may cut off a lot of hair and it may end up looking like a hole, big hole right into here, all right? And there won't be any hair for the client. So what you need to do is you need to really visualize this. And I always like to stand on the side and I will start either from the bottom working my way up because I can position my fingers or you can start right here in the front and work your way down, okay, like this, right? So since we have a good camera angle right here, let's start right here. Now, the only risk with doing this is that we have a tendency to maybe cut too flat like this, which means we're kind of screwed. That's why a lot of the times I will end up going this way. So let's, let's do this to be safe, all right? Let's do this to be safe. Even I have to be safe sometimes. All right, so right here, I'm angling my fingers right there. And this is really the, the real key part of this haircut. Your fingers right here, see this, my fingers? This will kind of really dictate the angle of attack, all right? The angle of, of the haircut. 
and all you're doing simply is just moving your finger position. That's it. That will allow you to create a very steep angle. So as you can see, we're working upwards now and we're taking the fear out of, oh my gosh, I just cut this huge angle way too short and I have no room. All right, and look at that. So now we can position our fingers upwards this way and just like that, we can connect it. Now watch this, all right? I want you to look at this and see what I've done right into here. See that? We've created a nice feathered layer and it's, it's on a relatively short side. So what we're gonna do now is go back in because now we say, okay, now I see what we're working with and if we wanna take it down a little bit shorter, we can. So I'm gonna bring all this hair forward this way because once you bring the hair forward, it can then travel back, right? And that's the key with, with, with feathering. And that's the key with creating layers like this, is if you bring it forward, it's gotta go back that far too, all right? And that's looking much better. I wanna just kind of sharpen that line up just a little bit and I'm happy with, with how that looks, as you can see. And then we haven't even layered it yet. So again, that's where the foundation comes in really, really handy. If you have a good foundation, she could, the client could actually leave and still be in good, looking in good shape. All right. So now we're connecting the back right through here. We're going to comb it straight down. And, and people probably say like, can a guy wear this haircut? Yeah. I mean, a, a, a guy could wear this haircut too. So don't think that this is just for women. All right. Anyone could wear this haircut. It just depends on the kind of look you want. So yes, if you're a dude and you want to wear this feathered haircut, then go for it. All right, so now, if you notice, we're cutting palm to palm, which is basically palm to palm this way, and now I'm cutting upwards. Again, my finger position now, I'm gonna turn it more this way. My finger's pointed down more. So the more your fingers are pointed down, the better angle and area of approach, or angle of approach you have, okay? Now we're gonna work this in. I'm standing directly in front of where I'm cutting. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to marry the front together. Now let me just show you this right here so you can see. All right, I'm working my way up the head and now we're coming to this part right into here. And what we could do is take a, not a not, we're, not, we're not gonna cut that side, but this is just, look at that. So I, I stole a piece from this side and now let's comb this all down. And let's see if we're even Steven or uneven Steven today, all right? It's hard to tell, let me see, you have to stand in front of here. So don't be afraid to stand in front of your client. And we're slightly, not, not a lot, honestly, not a whole lot. A little bit longer here, but really not that bad. If you can get this in one shot, then good for you. But I always joke around because, and if you're a professional hairstylist watching this, Please let me know in the comments if like you have a, a good side and a bad side. Like if you're if you're completely even on the first shot, then God bless you. But <laughs> let me know if it's very common for you to like not be even. All right. All right, there we go. Now we're perfectly balanced in through here. Great. All right, so we have the solid base. Now, what does this mean? This means that, and I spent a lot of time doing this, this means that the client could literally walk out if she wanted to with a great haircut. Now let's see how this is, let's see what this is looking like here. I just wanna show you guys the kind of flow this has. All right, so you bring this back. Remember I said it has to go forward to go back. So let's bring this back like this. And now what's gonna happen is if she were to blow dry this, she's gonna have very nice feathers, feathered layers going back and they're gonna start. Everyone wants to know, oh, where are they starting up here? So here it goes, right here. It's starting right in this area. Okay, so yes, they are short. They are short. Right about here. And it's all gonna flow back. It's gonna be a little bit, I wouldn't say heavy, but it's not gonna have a beautiful flow to it, but can you get away with it? Yes. All right, so now it's time to start the actual layering process. And this is where, you know, this is the most crucial part of the haircut, okay? Because now we're really connecting everything. So we have this in the front, right? Let's just show you a nice little visual here. We have this piece right here in the very, very front, all right? This is the front 
layer. Then we have the top of the head, which is this, all right, as you can see, it's a big difference. And then you've got this, look at this, all the way in the back. So really we have three different lengths going on right through here. What we need to achieve is we need to create a flowing connected shape throughout the entire thing. And how do we go about doing that? Well, let's give it a shot. So my first section I'm gonna take is gonna be right in the top of the head, right here, the top back of the head. And <clears throat> I'm going to comb this straight up and I'm gonna take a few things into consideration. How short do you really wanna go with this? So knowing that the front is this short right into here, that means that I don't wanna cut this that short. I always like to have a little bit of length, especially with a more modern shape. I like to have a little more length in the front. So let's go about right here, okay? And we're gonna cut this straight across, just like this. And let's extend it right over here. This piece is literally gonna be this, the entire haircut, all right? It's gonna all flow into this one piece. That's why this first section you take is crucial, all right? Now the next part, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go right down the middle in the back and we're gonna take a horizontal section and we're gonna comb this straight up so you guys can see this is what it looks like. All right, horizontal section right here and we're gonna comb this straight up like this and I'm just gonna turn the mannequin head this way so you guys can see. And I like to use the fine teeth of the comb and we're combing it straight up. And there's our guide underneath and we're cutting straight across, all right? And then we'll take probably one more section. We don't wanna go too low. <clears throat> you don't wanna go below the occipital bone doing this because the hair will be, end up being way too thin throughout the bottom and we need to maintain some of that weight. So straight up. And the reason that we're doing this simply is because it gives a perfect, look at that, it gives a perfect layer. All right, so we're gonna move that now to the other side. We're gonna just brush that away. Or not to the other side, we're gonna brush it out of the way. So here's our second section on this side. So we're literally gonna mirror, we're gonna mirror what we just did on the other side. So we're gonna comb it straight up. There's the guide. We're keeping our body position, our elbows level like this. And we're gonna take one more section right underneath, just on top of the occipital bone, which is the bone right here. And again, straight up. And this is going to keep everything very, very well balanced. And now what I like to do is I like to just bring everything up right in the middle, just to double check to make sure that we are even. All right, so now let's raise the mannequin head. <clears throat> there we go. So we have a nice layered shape from here to about right here. But now we got all this hair. Look at how long this is. All right, we can't leave that this long. So what I like to do now is we're going to comb the hair straight out from the head like this. And now we're going to simply cut it straight out from the head. And we're going to match up to keep the consistent shape. Now, a few things. If you want to really, really keep the length in the bottom, then you would kind of extend out the, le the uh, length, okay? But since I'm not looking for like a super long, you know, bottom, I, you know, I want to make sure this ha does have a lot of layers back here so it's not so heavy. Again, I don't want to look really like a mullet. So I am going to take off a good amount of kind of the weight in through the middle here. So as we get to this corner right in through here, I've learned this a long time ago, that you want to maintain the weight as you get in through here. And the reason I say that, and, and look, you see, I'm combing it straight back. Not to the middle, but straight back right behind the ear like this. Because maintaining that weight will prevent a hole, but it'll also allow you to go in and remove that weight when you absolutely need to at the right time. All right, when you're in through this area. If you remove the weight too soon, there's gonna be no weight left to work in. And, that, and I learned that a long time ago and it's been a lifesaver. All right, that's why you comb everything back within the parameters of the ear. Okay, very, very important. All right, so now the other side, we're gonna comb it straight back. And yes, for all you number 
number crunchers and number geeks, it's 90 degrees, all right? Which is basically, to me, I don't get caught up with the degrees. It's straight out from the, from the, the darn head, all right? It's straight out from the head. That's all you gotta remember. Straight out from how the hair grows, okay? Great, now we're gonna do this corner right here. Again, we're not going into the sides. We're literally just staying behind the ear, right, right at the division point, which separates the front from the back. All right, so now we have to go to the very, very bottom. Don't forget all this hair down and through here. Okay, we still, look at that. Look at all that hair needs to be cut. Because what are we doing? We're connecting and re re we are removing the weight. So it's not so heavy. We have to have a continuous shape going all the way through the bottom, right? And if you need to, you can tilt the head down a little bit. So we're going all the way to the bottom, all right? We're combing this out of the way so we have a clear, clear vision and comb it straight out. And look at all that weight. So what, what's that at the very bottom? That's the length. And what is on top of it? Well, that's weight. So what we're doing is we're connecting. That's how you're gonna get a beautiful flowing layer. After each section, what I do is I comb the other section out of the way. Look at all that hair. If I weren't, and, and trust me, I, I have clients that come in all the time, and especially if they're new, and I see all that weight at the bottom, right? And you need to cut it. You need to cut it or else it's gonna be just super heavy. Now, depending on the hair type, depending on the texture, you know, it all really depends, but look how far I'm going literally right down to the hairline, but I'm respecting the length. I'm not cutting that. I'm cutting everything right on top of that length, which again is going to create a beautiful layer. So I know I'm talking a lot, everyone, uh, and, I, and I hope that this is, I'm not you know, rambling on and on, but you know, and also I'm doing this live. I'm not doing voiceovers, I'm not filming this and going back in. I think to me a true educator is somebody who can do this live, all right? Who can literally walk through this and who can teach it while doing it. And that's the way I was taught many years ago when I was an educator. I've always done it that way. I'm ne I've never been a voiceover guy. Like I've done them randomly, but I think live is the way to go. All right. As you can see, I'm talking to you right now. No lip syncing, nothing. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's do this nice little trick right through here is we're going to kind of cross check this and we're gonna now reverse it and we're gonna comb the hair out. We're gonna cut palm to palm this way because what this will do, it'll give us a different perspective. And that's what's really important about this is perspective to see how the hair is flowing from all different angles. A good haircut, you gotta be able to comb it and move it from all different angles. And this, this really, folks, is what's going to guarantee that the haircut grows out really well. All right, and I'm surprised. You know, I shock myself sometimes, to be honest with you, <laughs> because this is looking pretty darn good. So we're gonna comb this all straight out. And again, I'm moving with the head shape and I'm moving my body this way. And what we're doing is we're going all the way down to the bottom. I'm not cutting the length, but we're, we're as you can see, we're going all the way down through here. And what that's doing, again, it's really guaranteeing our consistency and that, and that everything is blended. Okay, so we're gonna, there's a little bit of length under there we need to match up, all right? And if you see it, if, you, if something seems off, my motto is when in doubt, cut it out. <laughs> Problem is you may end up looking like me, so be careful. All right, so we're now almost on, we're, we've now entered into a different territory on the other side. And again, we're doing the same thing, combing all the way down to the very, very bottom. This way we're really, we're really uh, maximizing the efforts. My goal, and, and if you're a hairstylist watching this, or even a student, my goal is, and your goal should be for this haircut to look and last as long as it possibly can. I have haircuts that last five months, six months, sometimes even longer. I literally have clients that get their haircut twice a year from me because 
I mean, yeah, granted, they'll come in with it longer, but I can do a haircut and in six months, the haircut will, will grow out looking good. And you know what? I don't care about the money. I'd rather know that I, that client of mine can walk anywhere and someone can say to them, wow, your hair looks fabulous. And you know, how, when's the last time you got a haircut? And they could say, oh, five, six months ago. And, and someone can say, it looks that good? Yes, it does. <laughs> All right. Now, <clears throat> here is where, uh, let's see, we're going to connect. All right, the whole back is done. All right, the whole back is done. And what we need to do is connect this into this. So I'm not gonna take a piece straight up and cut. What we're going to do is cut vertically towards the face to, to, to really connect this part. Because if I took this straight up and cut it, what's gonna happen is we're going to end up creating a whole other guide and a new layer. We don't wanna do that. So let that, all that hair fall out. This is where we're, we're moving ahead. We're not, going, we're not going back, folks. We're not going back into the past. So we're, 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 working, we're moving ahead. All right, so all I do is do that right in that area, right in through here, right in through here. Well, guess what? Now the pass is behind us and it's time to move ahead. So we can now cut horizontally. So let's take a section right across on the top and we're gonna work our way. I like to call it the Mohawk section. We're gonna go right down the middle, all right? Right down the middle and we're cutting straight across. All right, next section, same thing, right down the middle. And we're not cutting the corners, we're not cutting the sides yet. We're literally just focused on one area. All right, straight up from the head and straight across. And then lastly, right in the front, we're gonna bring us all up from the head and there's hardly gonna be anything to cut. And there we go. Now we're gonna come, we're gonna come back and we're gonna work on that in a few minutes. All right, what we're gonna do now is work into the corners. So we have the top, the corners, and the sides. All right, let's brush this across. All right, there we go. So now we're removing that weight into the corner. And this is where you really see the true feather, the feathered layer look coming in, all right? Right in through here because this is, the corners really are where the flow starts to happen, right? That's where the flow really, really, you can see it. And I've literally, if you have, if you've noticed, I've stood in the same spot on this whole damn haircut, to be honest with you. But what I'm doing is I'm actually just, I'm, I'm, not, I'm really just working with the, the head shape, to be honest with you, you know? And I, and I have good body position, good hand position, and everything is working out nicely. So there's the corners and now the sides. This is the true sides. This is the true sides right here. So see that hair in the bottom? Let's bring this over a little bit. See that hair in the bottom? That's the length, we're not touching that. But again, the same concept with the back. We're cutting everything on top of it. So let's bring it out and there we go. We're getting rid of all this weight, which is gonna, if there's, if there's too much weight, the hair is not gonna feather, it's not gonna lay properly, okay? Really, really crucial. But you wanna be careful that you don't cut the length off because if you do that, that's when, you know, whole star and that's when things start to, start to really fall apart. Okay, good. Now, same thing on this side, what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, Stand right here and I'm going to cross check this and we're going to make sure it's balanced and blended just like we did in the back. And by holding it out this way, what we're doing is we're really seeing the whole haircut from a different angle, right? A different approach. To me, this is essential, right? It's really, really essential to create a good haircut, right? And, and, and I'm telling you, that's why you know, I charge a bit more for my haircuts, uh, and I probably could even charge more, to be honest with you, but you know, I, I put all this work into my, even my men's haircuts and women's haircuts, I put all that work in, 
Okay, there we go. So now I'm starting to see the feather coming in. And oh, I gotta do this for the other side. I forgot there's a whole other side to do. <laughs> I like to quit while I'm ahead. So usually a lot of times I don't even do the other side. I just tell the clients I'm done. They can leave. <laughs> they go, uh, don't you have another side to do? I go, I'm sorry. Like, I can't guarantee it's gonna look as good as the other side. And I just, so I'm known as like the one side cutter. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. If anybody likes my horrible humor, please let me know in the comments below. I'd, I'd appreciate it. And, and trust me, if you're a client of mine, you'll know this is my humor. You know this is, I'm always cracking these bad jokes. All right, so. Now look, if you notice, I'm standing in the same spot that I was before, the same spot. And that's, that's really, I know I'm not, I'm not really mentioning that, but that's like really, really important, is that you could stand in the same exact position and literally create the whole haircut. It's all about body position, okay? All about body positions. All right, so again, we're just finishing up here on the corners, making sure this is all blended in. And now it's time to work on the side. So here, again, you gotta get down a little bit, bring this straight out, and look at all that hair. All right, look at that. Look at all that hair. So we're gonna cut that. Again, make sure that you're thorough with your cutting. All right, make sure that you're combing and you're not missing any parts of the haircut because if you are, you know, it may, it may be something important that you need to cut and you may miss the whole thing. All right, so nice section right into the side. Again, we're leaving the bottom piece, which is the length, and all we're doing is cutting the weight right on top of it. And I like to go back up a little bit again. I know it's not, it's not like I'm cutting the same thing twice, but what I'm doing is I'm just making sure it's all kind of bl uh, blended together. Because if you sometimes you cut that, that bottom layer, it changes the shape a little bit and something else kind of pops out at you and you go, oh, you know what? I need to cut that piece. I didn't, I didn't even cut that. You know, or this needs to be a little shorter. All right, so we're just finishing up here. Again, making sure it's all balanced. So here's what I'll do on this side is I will go in and I'll comb the hair on an angle, now going downwards. Whereas before we were cutting, I'm sorry, cutting up before we were cutting down. And we're just gonna pull this out from the head like this. And we're just gonna check this all the way down in through the bottom, right in through here. Again, what is this for? Perspective. It's for a different perspective. It's for checking for balance. It's, you know, if the client wears her hair in a variety of different ways, you know, all that stuff, you gotta make sure that no matter what you do, and you see these little, little hairs I'm finding right into here, you have to cut those. You gotta make sure that everything is, is connected in every single possible way. <laughs> in every single possible way. Because what's that gonna do? It's gonna ensure a great haircut, and it's gonna ensure that it's gonna grow out really, really good. All right, so last but not least, what we need to do is let's just bring this down a little bit. This is the part where I like to I really look forward to this because this, this is gonna tell you how the hair is flowing together, especially throughout the top. So this is really, again, another mohawk section right in through here. And we're gonna comb this up. All right, pay close attention. So the hair, right? Not everyone's hair grows straight up like this. People's hair doesn't grow straight up. It grows out, out from the head. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna comb this and there's just a little bit right there and let's work this back. And we're just simply making sure that all of this is connected and all perfectly blended right to the back. Perfect. Let's go into the next section right into here we're gonna go just as far as the corners. We don't wanna to go too far because then we're gonna start removing stuff that we don't wanna remove. But what this is doing, it's really, really checking for balance and removing any unwanted weight, All right? So we're done there. This, the same thing on this side here, combing it straight up. And really what you're doing is bringing the two sides together, right? You're bringing the two sides together. And what that really does is, is ensure balance. All right, so I literally have just done an entire haircut nonstop for you guys. All right, let's bring this mannequin head up so you can see. 
All right, and this is really the first time I'm looking at this too, to be honest with you. All right, so let's see what we got here. So let's bring this down into here. So I'm gonna blow dry this and we're gonna keep this right down the middle. And I like to cut wet into dry, okay? Wet into dry simply because I, um, as the hair is drying, I, like, I really like to see the shape that it creates. I really like to see how, the, how it looks, all right? And look, you can already see, now again, this is, I wanna say it's outdated, but it's a feathered, layered haircut. I mean, some people really like this, all right? But this really comes down to technique and understanding hair. All right, so let's blow dry this. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna mostly use my hands. To be honest with you, I'm gonna use a lot of raking motion like this. I'm gonna kind of speed up through the blow dry. A lot of raking motion. And again, I want the haircut to do most of the work. All right guys, so I know this probably looks kind of crazy right now, but like I said, if the hair goes forward, it's got to go back. So what we're going to do is we're going to brush this all back. And again, a lot of times I did use my hands in this blow dry, but as you can see, just moving forward, I want you to see what the shape looks like. All right, moving all forward. Look at all these layers into here. All right, this is all layered, this whole thing. Now, here's where the feathered part comes back. I'm going to use a brush like this so it really enhances the, the feathers, the, the way it's layered. All right, we're combing it straight back, straight back, and look at this. Look at that, all right? Talk about, talk about a gorgeous flow. It goes right back into place. There's the layers, and we have all this flowing in right down to the very, very bottom. Look at that. No hairspray, no nothing. Let's do the other side. Uh, where are we? Oh, this way here. All right, again, let's comb it back. Comb it all back, work it all in, right into place. All the way down to the very bottom. And again, we think we did it. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. All right, look how gorgeous that is. Now, this may, again, this may be a bit outdated to some people, but really it's the technique. It's the, tel the whole technique of the haircut. All right, now look. Here's what we have going forward like this, so you guys can see. Now let's, uh, let's zhuzh this a little bit. Let's get some kind of movement in through here, and let's kind of modernize it a little bit just by running our fingers to it and adding some volume and just movement, and, and, and look what we got. We got a nice shape in through here. Really nice shape. Look at that, see? Just by moving my hands a little bit, look at all that texture and, and uh, volume we have. So there we have it, folks. A short, layered, uh, feathered layered haircut. All right, YouTube, well, they call me the one take king. All right, I did that whole haircut in one take. The only, the only thing I had to do was a step away to get my blow dryer. But again, I think this came out phenomenal. All right, really, really phenomenal. And I'm sure I'm gonna get lots of people on YouTube <laughs> saying, I'll fly from anywhere in the world for this haircut. And, and trust me, I get those emails on a regular basis. But uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this and, and really have a good understanding. And I hope this helps some of you from either learning how to do it or understanding why your hair may not be doing it or understanding why your hairstylist isn't doing it, you know, and, and all sorts of problems and stuff like that. So if you enjoy this haircut, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with the Slong Guy.